welcome, welcome especially to our colleagues uh, from College Park uh, to celebrate what really has become a tradition of collaboration. Uh, this month, uh, we are celebrating as two campuses uh, the one-year anniversary of our formal strategic partnership, which was officially uh, entered into law on October 1st, uh, 2016. But the fact of the matter is, uh, with regard to these kinds of collaborations, we've been together for a lot longer than that. In fact, uh, this year marks the 10-year anniversary of this joint Seed Grant program. Uh, for 10 years, uh, the two faculties have been coming together in pursuit of uh, novel solutions to some of our biggest challenges, whether they're challenges of health, technology, justice, science, social progress. For 10 years, uh, I think we've known as scholars uh, that we're better together. We're better when we join our expertise, start looking at problems from angles we may never have considered before. But we know that partnership is worthwhile. Long. And so I thank you uh, for letting the problems we confront shape these very partnerships. I thank you for trusting one another. Partnerships require trust for being generous with your ideas and your time with each other and really for working with each other as colleagues and friends. That's what partnership is all about. And on that note, uh, I'm thrilled to introduce my good friend and colleague, my partner, the president of the University of Maryland College Park, Dr. Wallace Lowe. Thank you so much, Jay, and thank you all for coming to this 2017 reception for C Grant awardees. Let me uh, begin by congratulating this year's uh, awardees. And as Jay has said, this has gone on for 10 years. What's so significant, I think, about the C Grant program, it really was the precursor to our strategic partnership that began, I think, about, what was it, six years ago, five, six years ago, that um, got officially codified a year ago in SB 1052 to bring together the assets of both institutions to work together, but the roots really lie in that C Grant program. And what we, uh, uh, we have this colleague at College Park by the name of Ben Schneiderman. He's written a wonderful book. And everything that I have to say can be summarized in ABC. Uh, I don't know if that's the title of his book, but that's what he talks about, ABC. And it stands for two things. ABC stands for Applied and Basic Combined. That the days when we separate basic research and the translation of that research into practical applications and innovation, those days are gone. You have to work on Applied and Basic Combined. ABC also stands for Achieving Breakthrough Collaborations. Collaborations across disciplines, which is what the Seed Grant Program involving our, both, uh, our two institutions represent. So it's, I think that, you know, someday I'll retire, I'll look back, and if I were ever asked, what is the thing that you're most proud of when you were president of the University of Maryland College Park? I would say the partnership with the University of Maryland Baltimore that I forged because of the personal relationship between Jay Perman and I. But with the codification now, it goes beyond individual personalities. It is now permanent for generations to come. So congratulations again to the awardees. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the deans that are here. And, and I, I see that Dean Reese is here. And I singled him out because I remember when this all started, it was you who came up with the idea, let's bring all the deans together to have that first meeting. And you hosted that first meeting. And then everything was 
smooth sailing thereafter because of the work of the deans. I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Lori Lacasio. Uh, Lori is the now two days old Vice President for Research at College Park. Uh, Lori came to us as the Deputy Director for NIST, the federal agency down in Gaithersburg that many of you are acquainted with. Uh, and uh, in her new role, she's going to be a major collaborator uh, with me and the deans here at, at uh, UMB. So uh, combined together, Lori and I are going to introduce uh, next year's uh, winners uh, for the um, uh, competition of the seed grant program. So, Lori? <laughs> well, I was going to say that next. She got her... <laughs> She got her Ph.D. at UMB uh, yeah. in pharmacology. She's also got a master's degree in bioengineering, which I hold dearly. Uh, so she, she has a tight connection uh, with College Park, with UMB, and also with a, fe a major federal agency. So she brings a lot to the table here. So I think, Lori, was I going to do the first one? The first, yeah. So I was going to introduce the first winner for this year. Uh, its, its title is Local Engineering of the Lymph Node Microenvironment in Non-Human Primates to Support Translational Therapies Targeting Autoimmunity and Transplant Rejection. And there are four uh, investigators for this. Uh, Christopher Jewell from the School of Engineering uh, at College Park. Uh, Dr. Richard Pearson, a professor of medicine. Dr. Anya Samazid Azimida from medicine and also Dr. Jonathan Bromberg uh, from the School of Medicine. I think three of them are here. I didn't see Robin. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lori? Okay. All right, it's my pleasure to announce the next one is assessing knowledge, attitudes, beliefs, and willingness of African Americans in West Baltimore and Southern Prince George's County to participate in genomics research. And that's from Stephen B. Thomas, the University of Maryland School of Public Health, and C. Daniel Mullins, the University of Maryland at Baltimore School of Pharmacy. Thank you. Our third recipient is uh, Taylor Wohl from uh, College Park in, in uh, CMNS, uh, and Bruce Yu uh, in the School of Pharmacy here at UMB. The title of their uh, paper or their project is Non-Invasive and Direct Imaging Methods for Characterizing Protein Aggregates and Biologics. I saw Bruce here. Uh, Bruce is here, and is uh, Dr. Wohl here too? Congratulations. And the last group is not here today, but I'll announce them anyway. It's Julia Felton, University of Maryland College of Behavioral and Social Sciences, and Kelly Duran, University of Maryland at Baltimore School of Nursing. And the title of their project is Utilizing Peer Recovery Advocates to Implement an Evidence-Based Intervention to Decrease Substance Use Among Low-Income Minority Adults. So I see our power woman has shown up, uh, Provost Rankin. Uh, I have the great pleasure of working with Mary Ann on an almost daily basis uh, with the Empower Steering Committee. Uh, and uh, so Mary Ann, any comments, please? You've probably already said them all, but let me just first of all say congratulations. I'm sorry I couldn't be here for the presentations earlier, um, they look like wonderful projects and, and very worthy winners, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. You know, this seed grant program was sort of a, a I don't know, a forerunner, wasn't it, of the, of the Empower initiative. Um, so it's been going for quite a while, and it has a, has a fabulous track record. Um, we've, uh, since 2008, fostered wonderful creative teams of investigators, across disciplines and campuses, new, supported and initiated new research focus areas, combining basic science with clinical science and practice in great ways, stimulated submissions of lots of, of grant proposals, many of which have been successful, 
uh, it's, I think, been a, a terrific example of what empower means, and it even, as I said, predates it. So clearly we were pre-adapted for this wonderful partnership. Um, in total, I am told, I have these numbers given to me by someone else, I didn't investigate them myself, but 100, over 150 researchers and students have been positively touched, impacted by this program in terms of participation. Nearly 65 projects have been supported uh, across six schools and colleges in College Park and four at UMB. So in College Park, it's agriculture, natural resources, arts and humanities, behavioral and social sciences, computer, mathematical and natural sciences, engineering and school of public health. And in Baltimore, it's dentistry, medicine, nursing and pharmacy. So uh, a great sampling of both campuses. Over 50 publications in prestigious journals, including PNAS, American Journal of Public Health, Journal of Neuroscience, etc., all the, all the top journals. Uh, more than 100 presentations at scientific meetings and other events, um, uh, Society of Neuroscience, Optical Society of America, American Chemical Society, all the biggies, and um, tw over 20 external awards from agencies like NIH, the Air Force, the Army, TEDCO, you name it. Um, we've had seven different projects, intellectual property, Disclosures and patents generated from seven of these projects. Internal awards have totaled nearly $5 million. And external funding has been secured over these last uh, years since 2008, nearly $15 million. So overall, a return on investment of over 200%. So I think we all should congratulate ourselves. These are wonderful numbers and wonderful achievements and a great example of what empower means to the state and to these two institutions, now one institution. So, congratulations to us. <laughs> so that concludes our proceeding. I think, Jim, it was a great idea to have this outside today. It's a marvelous day, so thank you for foreseeing that. Uh, for those who presented just a while ago, I really enjoyed the presentations. I thought they were useful, insightful, and I have hope for the future with them. Uh, and for those of you who have uh, your projects upcoming this year, I look forward to your presentations next year to be just as stunning. So thank you all very much and enjoy the company and the weather and the environment. Thank you. <laughs>